Hello folks, welcome along to the Passion for FM YouTube channel. I'm the Custard Prophet and this is Football Manager Focus. It is returning after a little bit of a break. Uh, if you're not familiar with the concept of this, it, we basically just focus in on one specific area of Football Manager. Um, that might be something quite generic like tactics or training. It might be a particular save style, for example, like, like a journeyman or it might be something a little more specific. Whatever it is, we will talk to people who really know their stuff in this area and learn a little bit and uh, have a laugh in the process. If that sounds like something you might enjoy, make sure you subscribe to this channel to ensure you don't miss any future episodes and like this video as well. So in today's episode, we have something very exciting for you. We will be talking to a database creator very special database creator actually he has been making databases for a heck of a long time uh, for football manager uh, and he is releasing or will have released a database which you can access and get your greedy little hands on right now uh, it is of course the new database out from the mad scientist fm so I've had a chance to speak to the mad scientist I really hope you're going to enjoy this I do have some problems with my camera during this uh, hopefully that won't impact your enjoyment of the episode uh, I think I've managed to cover it up reasonably well in most of the places however you want to just follow along and uh, enjoy the episode let's get into it So today on FM Focus, we have the man behind the Mad Scientist FM databases, uh, a creator of all sorts of retro databases, um, uh, and particularly we're going to be talking to him particularly about a upcoming database which will re be released um, very very shortly, uh, the 9293 database, and we'll be having a a chat about that in a second. And thank you very much for having a chat. It's uh, wonderful to have you on. Thank you very much for having me, mate. I appreciate it. Not at all. Not at all. So I, I, I kind of wanted to start maybe not with that database because I, I always find the concept of making database databases a, a kind of a weird one to kind of get started with. Just uh, so I kind of wondered where you where you got started, why you are making databases like you are. Yeah, the creation story. Uh, that's always interesting to hear about. Uh, in my case, actually, I've uh, it's it scares it scares me when I say says I've been doing I've been doing this for twenty five years. When I think back, because for some of the early Championship Manager editions, uh, we created our own editor apps uh, so we could e edit the name the player names, just uh, small tiny details we could change with the, with those things. But it started in this in the small back then. But I will say for the last 10 years, at least, I've been uh, having this niche of doing throwback databases, choosing one specific season and recreate it in, in the newest uh, version of Football Manager. That's been uh, for a couple of 10 years, I think. So the, the editor that you uh, that Football Manager have is making that a lot easier now? Absolutely. It's much, much more advanced nowadays, uh, maybe to a degree of too advanced because for the last two, three years, there's been a lot of issues with the editor, uh, especially this year's editor has been uh, really, really buggy. Uh, I had some huge major problems this year, but, but it's all good. Uh, we take it as, uh, as uh, challenges, work around it. Oh, that's a good good way of thinking about it. Yeah, I've I've heard about some of the bugs from some of some of the other people making databases, and um, yeah, it sounds it sounds frustrating. Um, so in the last few years, um, you've been focusing on the retro database, or you have focused on that for a, for a long time. But there are many other types of uh, database that are that you could potentially be making. Why? What is it about this style of database that interests you? What well, what what speaks to me is the nostalgia. I'm a huge nostalgic uh, overall. I, I started to miss some of the players from the '90s uh, 
and that that is has been my motivation all along. I miss some of the players who retired for many years ago, and I want to bring them back. And what is the beautiful beautiful thing is, while Football Manager has developed, evolved the, the game over the years, uh, it just gets more and more nostalgic to bring those players back from from earlier Championship Manager games, which were pretty basic compared to nowadays. So it's it's that that was the first thought of an, a kind of experiment. What what will happen? What will happen if I took this specific season? and try to simulate it in the newest version of Football Manager. So we get the brand new match engine and all that stuff with all the classic players. That combination, I think, is what's speaking to me. What I, what I was asking is which of the databases are you most proud of? Ah, yeah, well, my data, databases have been uh, under, uh, under development for, for the last five, six years, especially because I'm using so much time as I've been doing for those five years. Uh, so they're just uh, expanding year for year. Year after year, I learn stuff. I learn to do stuff quicker in the database. Uh, even though I work with the database, this football manager database has looked like this for 10, 15 years. But I'm still learning uh, to to cut some corners and 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 stuff. And so I, I get more effective with my time. And uh, so so the last database, the 2001 database is what I'm most proud of because it's the most comprehensive. It's the largest yeah. database and it was just, uh, I, I enjoyed it very much to be able to cover so so many leaks for that database. But that is also because it was just a matter of copying, oh, excuse me, copying the player attributes directly from one game over to another, but it still had to be done manually. Mm. So it is a time consuming job. But the last one is probably my, my most proud, proudest one, yeah. So each each new one is 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 a little bit better, and uh, you're a little bit more proud of that. I can kind of understand that. Are you are you surprised how popular they be- become? Because there seems such a buzz every time you release one of the uh, one of these. It still surprises me. I think it's five six five or six years ago, I uh, I created a profile on Twitter. And uh, before that, I didn't know much about Twitter, on uh, uh, about the FM community, on on of Twitch or YouTube videos. I didn't know nothing, so I don't know why I did it. But but I released one of my databases through uh, the Steam Workshop, and it got uh, huge huge feedback. And uh, the demand was huge for me to come on Twitter because of that database back then. And then I came on Twitter and, and just realized that there's so many people who enjoy this uh, nostalgia trip like I do. Maybe I was a little bit naive, but of course there is a lot of people who enjoy uh, those days and those trips down memory lane. Uh, so it, 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 it does still surprise me, uh, actually. And for the last three years, I've let my followers decide which database I was going to do. So I have this uh, relationship with my, with my followers, which I having so much enjoyment out. No, so I, yeah, that's that is fantastic. Um, yeah, um, I, and one question I had because I have no idea um, about this currently. So how long has the current database taken to make? Because I, I have literally no idea how how long something like this takes. So this last one for FM22, I've started working on the day the, rele- the full game was released. FM22, the day the full game was released, the editor was released as well. And that is the day I started for the moment. I haven't even started one save in the game. I've just headed into the editor and started my work. And before that, actually, one or two months before that, I started my preparation. Because this database was a little bit uh, dif- different from the others because I had to go and gather information from different sources, so, so to speak. So I had to prepare for it in a whole uh, other way. And that is, it was, that is what I enjoy because I have to dwell down to football history and relive uh, a lot of the, the, that stuff from, uh, from the past. But uh, yeah, from the day, what was it, uh, mid on a uh, late November, the yeah. game were released. Yeah. And as I said, from that day, I just uh, locked myself into what I call my editor's lab. I haven't left my building barely left my building i barely seen any living people i've just been in my editor's lab i would say working for 12 to 14 16 hours a day completely focused on this database and that is what i feel uh, it takes to create a playable database which uh, yeah which is uh, large enough and interesting enough it takes this dedication 
because I'm a bit of perfectionist. I it, it, it gets close to OCD in some cases. Every little detail is the player's best foot, the left or the right, which city was he, was he born in, all those details, I can't uh, skip them. I, uh, if I have the information, I will put them in. So, uh, yeah. That's that's impressive. I mean, that's so you've not actually played much um, FM22 at all. Not at all, and so, I'm looking so much forward to it because <laughs> all this all this comes down to I love the game. I've been loving the game since the very first edition of Championship Manager, and I I enjoy the saves. We all remember some of our saves, and I can't wait to try the new game. I haven't at all played it, and it will of course be with my own database. So. <laughs> I won't try it with the current database at all. <laughs> I was going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's uh, well, actually, I've got one more question that I wanted to, to ask before I went on to um, talking about the current database. Uh, and this is, I, I guess, a slight dark one for you folks who create um, uh, databases. Because I've seen a little bit of talk on Twitter about people taking your databases, various people's databases, uh, using them as their own, making money from them. Is that is that becoming more and more of a problem that you're you're finding? I don't know if it's becoming more and more a problem. It's been there all the time. Also, maybe sometimes I've, I've been too naive because I, I didn't think that anyone would steal other people's work, but obviously it's happened a lot. Um, it's, it's a really tricky one because how can we protect our work we can do that. We're, talk, we're, talk, we're talking about with the community and, and share our, our stories with each other. But I think it's a really uh, difficult one. What I've done for the last two or three database releases, I've left the what do you call them? What do you call them? Easter eggs in my databases, uh, a little hidden around, so I can recognize the database if I find find it. But to be honest, it I know it's it can happen, so it doesn't bother me too much. It's it's so bad on those people who just steal others and they have to live with that on their conscience. Yeah, that's mm. what I can say about it. Yeah, okay. Well, let's let's move on to the 92-93 database. So can you explain what this database is for, for someone who, who might, be not, might not be familiar with your work? So this uh, database, the 92-93 season, is obviously 30 years ago. And the idea started when I, a couple of years ago, looked ahead and I could see in 2022 there's the possibility of uh, having this uh, anniversary for 30 years anniversary for the very first edition of Championship Manager. And that was the, the first idea. And when I started to look close on this season, so much just came together. We have, it's the very first season of the English Premier League called the Premier League. It's the second season of the Champions League, so that was uh, in the early days of the Champions League as well under that name. Uh, my nation, Denmark, won the Euros in the summer of 92, so that's of course also something that means a lot to, to me. And it's just, I think it's a perfect place for, as I said, I'll, I have let my followers choose for the last three databases which ones I should do. This one I've chosen myself. <laughs> this one is for myself. If any of you, you guys lo lo like it, Come and have a party with me. But this one is mo mainly for myself because this is, we all have a golden era uh, in, in football where we started to follow it. And for me, it was there in the, in the early 90s. And what's brilliant about this is some of the 80s legends are still in this database. And some of the uh, star early 2000 uh, talents, legends are also in this because they were young. So it's just a melting pole of all the good stuff uh, for my uh, taste. Yeah, I have to say, that's what I found when I was kind of looking through your teaser trailer, sort of, and, and, and that got me sort of on a bit of a, a trip, sort of looking at sort of Wikipedia pages, looking at sort of the team teams of those those eras, and it was oh, you know the, yeah. the like, likes of Steve McManaman um, just sort of starting out his career. But I was, I was sort of having this 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 thought for um as i was kind of thinking about uh, what what i was going to talk to you about um and it was this this idea that these these pretty much exactly what you've been saying where these these legends from what what you think are yesteryear i mean dave david seaman i've always got in my mind as someone who is someone very much in the 90s but actually he played in the 2002 world cup for england and it's just yeah 
strange strange little quirks like that and careers are actually quite long things so yeah it was it was really fascinating looking at the um reminding myself of all these quality players who've just kind of gone out of my head yeah uh, it was it was it was it was a lot of fun just just kind of researching just for this so uh, um i'll I'll certainly be it can be a real rabbit hole getting down to that yeah that's uh, actually what happens every time i release a database and i watch uh, a youtuber a a twitch streamer uh, launch it up for the first time what happens every time is the first five hours people are just browsing through the squads just looking around and that's what i do myself that's what i'm looking forward to do with this, this new database as well so it is a rabbit hole and uh, you you said david seaman and what makes it difficult also for me even though i travel back in time to do the 2001 the 2003 the 85 database what is it what it does it mixes all up mm. so it, it it makes it difficult to remember david steeman was he playing there and there you know if you know what i mean it can be difficult to keep it all in in line yeah i, I yeah <laughs> it's it's it's, it's fascinating because i always I, yeah that sort of era perhaps not quite that early but certainly maybe two or three years later i i i'm watching a reasonable amount of football and and a lot of my knowledge sort of goes up to to 2000 and actually then i probably didn't follow football quite as 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 hard because i was you know doing other things and life got in the way and stuff so yeah it's 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 nice to see all those all those players in in the game so i mean one of the things you mentioned earlier was that it's the most detailed game that you've or the most detailed database that you've put together so can you give some idea of as to how detailed that is i mean are you talking about um just the main um uh the main european leagues um so the top parts of the main european leagues or or is it much more than that it it has to be much more than that in in, in my opinion because i talk what is wonderful about uh, when i release a database for the last couple of years i've can i've got contacted from all over the world it surprises me every time Every continent, every little country, there's a guy playing football manager contacting me saying, thank you for making a great database. It blows my mind every time. And I'm the kind of of guy who wants to try to make everyone happy. And you know, that's impossible, but I try my best. So what I do is I always try to make the top five leagues uh, because they also just cover uh, most of the best players of the era. But what I want to do even out of those playable leagues, I want to put as many players in for all different nations so the national teams at least can can call up 25 players. And that means uh, also playing when you're playing in uh, in Europe against uh, in Champions League and have some players. Otherwise, it's, it, it's just not fun. So I tried to add as many players from outside the, the playable leagues as possible to make it uh, the best the best experience as possible uh, that that does uh, does sound fantastic so in terms of the the oh, the, the, the players that you've got in your um that you sort of set up in your your leagues because back in the, the first edition of championship manager um there were very much fewer player attributes so how do you decide on those player attributes Exactly, you're right on that. And actually, in the very first edition of Championship Manager, it was it wasn't it wasn't real names. It was fictional player names. So I I, I couldn't just take that database and copy uh, all information from that. So what I've done, what I've talked a little about a little bit about earlier, is I've gathered information from different sources. That meaning, I uh, I've I've uh, I tried to find all information for one player. I tried to find his attributes, maybe. Uh, from five different championship man- manager editions, all the way up to the 0102 database, actually, because there's a lot of information in that particular game compared to some of the other uh, games, the earlier games. And as you said, they, did, they didn't have all the attributes we know from today. So I had to go and gather gather the uh, information from 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 different sources to get as much as possible for every player. Yeah, and do you get? I mean, I imagine you get people contacting you saying, "Actually, I don't agree with that. This uh, this player, you know, his aggression should be much higher, and and all that sort of things." Do you, do you get much of that? I've started to enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> In the beginning, I, I, I thought, "Hey, hey, you know what? You know what happened?" 
I remember one particular message, message where he was very, really, really angry with me. He said, <laughs> you are obviously Liverpool biased and I'm not a Liverpool fan. I don't hate Liverpool. And I had to explain him, him I'm, I've not been biased at all. Who are biased are sports interactive because I copy their player attributes, their evaluations of the players. I can't take the the honor for, for the attributes. Uh, so so I could tell him that that it's not from my opinion these players <laughs> are, are, are built. That is one one uh, message I remember, but it's not too often. I think people have have got gotten the trick now. They know how I how I do this. I try to explain it as much as possible. I'm not doing anything biased, not biased to any teams, any players. I copy the exact attributes and information from from uh, Sports Interactive's work. I'm just a middleman. So it's Miles's fault then. <laughs> it's sort of, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> what one one of the other things that kind of um made, made me sort of wonder is that kind of European geography's changed a little bit since 2002 is that is that reflected sorry not 2000 1992 is that, is that reflected in your your database as well not not really not really uh, it's actually one of the big decisions i have to do when when i start a database like this and we have uh, the old yugoslavia especially in this 92 uh, database I'm, I'm making which was a whole whole other situation so I had to make the decision, should I bring back the Yugoslavia as a nation and bring all the Serbians, Croatians, you know, Bosnians and, com- uh, and, and combine it as Yugoslavians again. But for me, it's just, it's just too political. Yeah. I don't know um, enough about this, so I, I, I will touch it. I, don't, I won't touch it too much. And it falls into this again, this uh, experiment it is on Football Manager 22, bringing back the past to the future to simulate it in the modern uh, engine so there is stories like this choices i make i don't touch this i don't i leave this uh, as it is but it's actually a really good question but it, because it is a big decision yes yeah, so i think it's very wise not to touch it. i i wasn't even sure whether it was um that easy to do in the game sort of removing whole countries or adding in whole countries it is kind of compli- complicated as well, so I had to choose to prioritize <laughs> other areas. I'm, I'm sure. Is. I'm sure no one minds what you've uh, yeah. the, 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 focusing on the things you have done. So you've talked a lot about the you know your want to get started with your new database, um, and um, you know, uh, and, and the fact you don't really get much ch- chance to play. So when when you load up your first save, can you tell us? who you're going to be playing with and who your first signings that you're going to be looking at might be. Ooh, that's a big question. <laughs> oh, and then what happens while I build the database, so to speak, on the way, I find out a lot of teams, a lot of players who I should be, should I should write down. This is a player I need to go and sign when the, I can start a save. This is a team who could be a project and stuff. There's so many ideas building on the way. So so I already have so many plans. But one of the first saves, if not the very first save, is because of one player who I think a lot of people are looking forward to, to, to sign or play with or play against. And that is El Diego, Diego Maradona. Uh, and he is playing in this database in Sevilla in Spain, uh, mm-hmm. a mid-table team in Spain. Not a, a really impressive team, but they have him. I think he's 31 when the database starts, so he's not over the hill at all. And besides him, there's not Argentinian. There's also Diego Simeone on the midfield to uh, break some legs. And yeah. then up front, <laughs> up front, you have Davos Suka. So those three players is enough for me. I need to try one save with Sevilla for sure. Nice. And, nice. and p- players, players to sign. I don't even know where to begin. There's <laughs> so many players, I, I, and that's also why I, I'm going to have a lot of saves. I'm, I want to try as much as possible. And there's, of course, many of my uh, favorite players from the era. I, I for sure will go after my my all-time great, my goat player is Faustino Asprilla, who's Colombian. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan, and I will for sure sign him. If not, I'm going to start a save with uh, with Parma. As you see, the shirts are ready. Uh, and they had Faustino Asprilla and some of the Danish players as well. It's probably going to be a bit difficult to get Peter Schmeichel, but Michael Laudrup and Brian Laudrup 
and there's also Roberto Baggio from Italy, Johnny mm. Barnes yeah. from uh, England. <laughs> I could go on. There's so yeah. many. I mean, the players, yeah. Um, um, yeah, uh, Gabriel Battistuta was always one of my oh. uh, one of my favourites. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, as I'm you sorry, say, can I say? Just yesterday, I found out I, I had already uh, added to the database, but I looked around and I saw Sinidin Sidan is 23 years old playing oh. in Pato. You can go and pick up the Sinidin Sidan, <laughs> probably pretty cheap, and 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 uh, develop him into what you want. Oh, you heard it here first, then. It, what, what about player values? How, is that um, close to what it is at the for for us at the minute, or is it relate in relation to the player values as they were then? That's a really good question because something I learned over the last couple of databases I made, I always tried to revert the finances back in time so it uh, it's, it's, it's reflects how it was back then, and it's been uh, it's not been successful every time because the game, the modern game is kind of hard coded so after one season all the players will begin to ask for the wage we know from nowadays so if you have a player on a 10,000 a week salary and the, he in a couple of months he asked for 250,000 just that <laughs> leap is just too much between and what it did for this database because it's 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 been an issue for the last couple of databases but you can't quite ignore you can quite ignore it if you want to because the finances also start to develop really fast so it reflects each other but what i did for this one was actually just to ask my followers you know the issue there is what do you think we should do and i posted a poll and what uh, actually one was try to revert the values and the player wages so i started by doing that excuse me there we go i started by doing that but this time it's 30 years ago and the finances in 1992 compared to 2022 just far too far from each other so what i've done i've just uh, adjusted the player values a little bit because in my mind when i see a player valued 150 million it blows my mind because i'm still in 1992 so i just adjusted it a little bit so it it's not uh, that crazy but i've not i have not reverted them all the way back to uh, to 1992 uh, so that's interesting. I was just, uh, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't quite sure what you do there. And it sounds, yeah, like a fairly complicated, I, I mean, I imagine there's many fairly complicated aspects that I'm not thinking about that you that you have to consider when making something like this. So is, I, but but the, these two area, areas with wages and, and, yeah. and values, it, you, it, it can be done in the editor. The tools are in the editor to do this, but to make it work with the game, that's that's the difficult part fair enough um so i, I did give you a a little bit of um uh homework <laughs> before and and asked you for the viewers watching to give to them a one season challenge to try in your database who have you gone for i actually gone for the one i already mentioned ah, the, yeah. sevilla, the sevilla challenge try to snap the title from barcelona and real madrid with sevilla but you have diego maradona on your hands that sounds a that sounds a good one you heard it here folks go and do that go and do that okay so the uh once the the 92 93 database is out what is next for you yeah well, as I said, for this year, I've chosen the database myself, and I've enjoyed that a lot. Uh, not that I haven't enjoyed the other ones, but it's been a pleasure to choose it myself. But what happened when I announced that I was going to choose this year's database for myself, there was an uproar. Uh, people uh, wanted uh, several databases instead of the one I've chosen. But there was especially a demand for one particular season, and I kind of promised people that I'm going to do that for FM23 and that is the 0910 season and first when there was a huge demand my DMs were bombarded with this demand and at first I didn't understand it 2009 10 that was yesterday what are they talking about but there's a lot of stories with Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi coming into the scene at this stage in the prime and stuff so uh, I'm starting to understand it but right now it seems like I'm going to make the 0910 database next year Lovely. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's exciting. It'll be out probably a similar time uh, next year then. Um, so maybe we'll be having another chat then. 
Um, thank you. Well, thank you very much. I guess the, the last question, uh, and I know the answer to this, where can people get your database from? Because that's going to be important. Yes. Go to the Steam Workshop, search for the 1992-93 database or my username, the Mad Scientist, and you will definitely find it. You can also find all the download links on my socials, Twitter and Facebook. I will share and uh, pin the post with all the download links to the save game file, to the FMF file, to the Steam link. Also, there will be a beautiful face pack made by one of my homeboys, AJW, and there will also be a logo pack made by Rux and FM. So there is a complete experience to go and get that. Fantastic, yes. And I'll be sure to uh, link all of the Mad Scientist's socials and everything else down in the in the comments below. So uh, make sure you head down there um, and check all those things out. Um, uh, I also know you have a Patreon, so make sure go over and support the Mad Scientist for all the the mad crazy stuff that he does in database creation um, on, on, on Patreon. And again, all those details will be down below. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. I've learned uh, loads in, 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 in our conversation and uh, I'm really looking forward to sort of seeing what, uh, what comes up next and, and beyond. So yeah, thank you very much for, for coming on. Thank you for having me. I've been enjoying talking to you. It's been a pleasure talking to another living human being. <laughs> well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a fantastic conversation I had with the Mad Scientist FM. Um, really, really top guy. Learned an awful lot of stuff, and I hope you did too. Remember, all of his socials are down below in the description, so uh, drop down there if you're not uh, familiar with his work then uh, head on over to his youtube channel um, link up with his twitter uh, so you don't miss uh, anything and get on that 92 93 database because it is going to be a lot of fun some legends of the game uh, in there uh, as we were talking about if there are particular areas of the football manager game that you think we should be focusing on in these episodes well let me know hit me up in the comments and we'll look to do those um, we've got another idea that is uh, I will hopefully uh, get sorted fairly soon so uh, uh, look out for that in in the next sort of month or so there'll be another one of these um, but until then um, make sure if you haven't done so already you like this video and subscribe to the channel there will be more content not just football manager focus on the way in the near future as Passion for FM YouTube ramps up yet again. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye.